Is Who that it? Okay, it's just uh, walking. Is looking out for them right now. Who's looking the out for us? Is it is uh, American Dreamers, Dreamers, aka DACA, oh. who are not U.S. citizens. No mention, not a word. This DACA thing the is not citizens. Of these actions of these and they don't belong here. Why would why would, would politician stamp Number on our dreamers? This is uh, I is our best are making me furious. To actually make a law. Why do you want to make it a law to legalize people who broke into our homes? I don't understand that. I totally don't get it. And you're Mitch McConnell? You're losing it. DACA. This is ignoring us. Yeah, so our dreamers are becoming nightmares because you're trying to fulfill people that do not belong here and rewarding them with citizenship. And are you going to do that with like millions and millions more? Once this is done, what the hell is going on? And during this week of fair debate, I believe that's, it that's a rhino speech of every senator who's ready to move beyond making points and actually making a law. Don't but make that a law because we will come will in, will in actually hold you up to it. We'll come and get you. Rather than just talk about You're it. a fucking rhino. I made a commitment to hold this debate and to hold it this week. I've lived up to my commitment. I hope everyone will cooperate so this opportunity does not go to waste. What's the opportunity? That's it's a wasting of our time. Proposal to Mitch McConnell. He's the same guy who promised to return to regular order and yeah. balanced um, budgets. I'm Instead, turn this up a little we bit. now have the largest scheme yeah, to we overspend, overspend since the early Obama era. Red ink, as far as the mm. eye can see. As this White House I am struggles so to defend not happy. spending hundreds of billions of dollars, nearly one trillion dollars, in 2019 totally that we wasted. do not And have. a lot of this money... Where do we go? Really? I mean, uh, by 2028... Are just going to these pockets of the Democrats. Because uh, uh, the they GDP. somehow managed to wrangle that, 90 billion uh, dollars for some kind of disaster. And you know the, the people that are suffering. They're not, not going to get anything. Not ISIS. All not, right? not the many things that we're dealing oh, with in the you. Middle East and around the world, but our debt. I know that you care about that. Um, oh, yeah, so I'm just philosophically, that. tell me where we go from here. Well, I, I yeah, think the budget yeah. gives some insight into we don't that, know. Senator. Keep in mind, um, even though it doesn't balance within the 10-year window, this budget still represents um, a $3 trillion reduction in spending over the course of the 10-year. But that's the second largest reduction in proposed what spending to of speech? any budget it's a ever. Jump cut? The only one that's larger was the budget that we introduced last year. Excuse me, that's in fact, but for the cap steal, it probably would have been larger this year. It's so uh, it's I think we're just being held hostage because spending. the Democrats we, want all the Senator Sanders' point, I can big I would fat to you that we money keep our going we to their not, wallets in um, their states, including California, to and they held us hostage. We do not take a look at or make any forms to Medicare recipient services that they get, but there are other monies that can be saved. We spend oh, this all social spending dollars in mandatory spending here. Here's the problem. Mm. Who's mandatory? Me? That project beyond I don't get it. Who's mandatory that accurate. we have Remember, to go why? broke? Because as much as Congress and the president tries, they cannot see into the future. And they cannot force future Congresses to abide by a spending plan concocted three, four, five, ten years yeah. prior. It does not work, True. never has. So, right. What's happening the people here? Just gonna, Has the Republican like, keep leadership following. completely sold out to the Democrats? Really? And their fiscal They're irresponsibility? Hijacked. Joining me now from the totally Capitol at Statuary Hall in Washington, D.C., representing Michigan's Gosh, this country is only 200 years old, and you're in Paul so Mitchell. much shit. Uh, Congressman, I want to talk about dreamers. I don't get it. I don't think uh, uh, America is going to go for right another now, year the way that it's daughter. going. She's in her 20s, right? And, you know, tw so 20, funny. 30 years from now, she's going to be the one on the hook yeah. Along with millions of other so called right. uh, millennials and the next generation, they're the ones who are going to be China. on the hook for this profligate spending that's going mm. on in Washington, D.C. right now. This irresponsible spending. There is no roadmap to ending this nonsense right. by the time because everybody wanted their money. Uh, 2019, uh, uh, pretentiously for the people. Around, everybody wanted to have somewhere a in the neighborhood of $22 trillion in the belly. national debt. Barrel. How do I look I don't my know. daughter in the eye and say, hey, you this don't. is just, just fine? Like, hopefully, uh, 
Uh, you'll be gone. <laughs> I mean, if you're gone, this is what these people would say. Oh, how many more turns am I gonna be uh, in here? Four more years, I'll be gone. Uh, this is totally unscrupulous. It allows small groups to have leverage to force up spending without being accountable for how we're spending our money. Last year in the appropriations process, I proposed a 10% cut in administrative this is printing. costs Look at that. in most programs. It's printing the money that and it's worthless. Couldn't get sufficient interest and we have nothing to back up. Seriously, usually right. I have to What's have gold. We don't have that kind of money. I've been part of a debt a gold. relief work group or a debt work group. So this is all just paper, man. Pretty soon we won't be able to, hundred dollar bills, we won't be able to buy a bag of chips. All those things to make sure that in fact we are spending money. And then we have these uh, DACA, like, you know, insist on they have to be in on this and uh, borrow more money to uh, satisfy uh, their uh, needs. But we're, no one's talking about fixing uh, I was going to say. No one's fixing about them uh, talking about fixing Medicaid. Ones. They're both going. The actuaries keep telling us they're going broke in just a matter of years. It's going to happen in our lifetimes. Uh -huh. What in the world are we going to do about that? So the yeah. president comes out, <laughs> no, and the White just House like comes out, and a, a budget um, that takes a razor blade, I think mm -hmm. I would call it, to uh, cutting it, certain aspects it, of yeah. government when we need a chainsaw. Really, okay, so there's chainsaw, cuts really. to <laughs> discretionary spending about two percent. There's cuts to welfare, uh -huh. um, savings from changes so, to the federal okay, student loan of programs. Of yeah, yeah really, because they never pay back. You know these people. Leeches. Um, I know someone has studied to a doctorate and then still have to go to more saying, classes well, or they have to pay back. That's what they told spending me. Spending cuts, large ones, double digit. I don't hear anybody saying, hey, we need to eliminate the Department of Energy, Department of Education, the Department of No, we don't the, uh, need all EPA. that department. And what do they do? Government is like a maze. To fix these programs I don't need a, a monster, a government looming over me. Just cut the well, freaking government. Well, our biggest challenge is facing us short term, and I think even All in the right, next 5-10 years, 